Okay, I think we're good. I think we're live. Well, we are live. I know we're live. I don't know how the internet's going to hold up, I'll be brutally honest. Um, but we'll see. I'm just making myself a drink. Just wait, wait and see if the internet's going to work. Oh, crap. Shit. Drop my entire tea bag. So. <coughs> Okay, how is everyone this evening? Oh, what a delay. There's a huge delay in this one. This is going to be interesting. Okay, just make myself a lovely cup of Premier Inn tea. You can tell I'm in a Premier Inn because you can tell by the decor behind me, by the pictures and by the purple in the bedstead and stuff. So I am in a hotel room. Oh my God, Kylie. Hello, <laughs> Kylie. It's not my first live, Kylie. It's my 17th live. And actually, I, do you know what? I am late this evening, and I can tell you why I'm late this evening. Kylie, uh, who is here, who's just commented right there, she's the reason I'm late this evening. Um, uh, well, I'm late by five minutes because she sent me a message with a TED Talk, and I've just watched the TED Talk. So that's why I'm running slightly late. Um, I'm actually an hour late because I went out for dinner with Graham. Um, but I'm here now anyway. So but I'm probably going to about 15, 20 minutes tonight. Pretty tired. I've um, got an early start tomorrow to go for a run for our breakfast for Mr. G um, and then driving back up to Shrewsbury. So I um, hope everyone is well. Just flick through the comments, see what I've missed. Da, 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 da. Laura, looking forward to tomorrow, Saturday night. Yeah, Saturday's going to be a banging night. Um, so Saturday should be good. Love a Premier Inn. Can't go wrong with a Premier Inn. Um, I'll have people like... I'll, quite loud and I think that people won't play me fine um more maurice I was just, oh maurice i'm so sorry i've just said maurice again morris morris is here um let's have a quick look morris i am very pleased to announce is going to be joining it's a little drum roll by the way um morris is going to be joining us down at shepton mallet prison so um i'm sure he'll give a, a, a shout out and say hi um, if you do, Morris, and then I'll pin your post. Um, so Morris is a prison officer. He's still a serving prison officer, which is fantastic to have that kind of knowledge coming into the prison now. Obviously, those of you who know Graham and Keith and Mick as ex-prison officers, retired in, I think, Graham retired 2014. I think he retired a year after. Um, but Morris is still a serving prison officer, so to have current knowledge coming back into organisation is brilliant. Um, <laughs> so Morris has just said those of you may remember and I can't remember what week it was in join Joel but it was a few weeks ago um, uh, that I said I would ring Morris if we had a job uh, available at Shepton we do have a job available at Shepton I rang Morris um, he kindly came in watched a, watched a tour the other week um, really really liked what we did um, uh, he came in again today he spent some time with Monica who was delivering a tour at Shepton spent a fair bit of time with Mr G um, oh I'm going to have to pick that one up um, Mr. G, we've got two Mr. G's. It's going to be controversial. It's going to be a battle between the by, between the prison officers. Um, uh, and so Morris, Morris came in again today, did another tour, and is going to be joining the team at Shepton Mallet Prison um, as a tour guide, which we're very excited about, like I say. Really weird. Two Mr. G's. Um, so Mr. Goodwin and Mr. G. Um, so yeah, so I don't know how I'm going to quite get through that one. Um, Evening, Kirsty. Uh, hello, Teresa. I didn't say hello, so hello. Uh, Rachel's in. James. James, are you and Laura, do you guys, are you in the same room watching this together or do you sit in different rooms to watch this? Or do you like, I'm, I'm just curious basically as to how you do it, but um, looking very much forward to Saturday night. Uh, night Behind Bars. It's the third one we've run in three weeks, so one a week. Um, uh, this one's on a Saturday, but we've got a few. We'd, we've got a few more staff this week. We were a little bit short staff last week, um, which meant that I was doing loads. Whereas this week we've got a few more staff, so I'm really hoping I can uh, get a little live squeezed in somewhere early hours in the morning. Um, G Senior and G Junior. Okay, well, Morris. Now, now I have to ask who's Senior and who's Junior. <laughs> the risk of getting in trouble. Um, I love that, Laura. James in the kitchen, you're in the living room. So um, these guys are coming on Saturday. Who else is coming on Saturday? Give me a quick shout out if you're coming on Saturday so I can just see any names that are there. Da, 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 da. Carrie, you're in local lockdown. Whereabouts are you? 
You're in S it's a Sunderland. You guys, you guys, um. Yeah, I'm just reading that. I'm going to local lockdown, so I'm booking at Shepton can't go ahead. I hope this isn't going to go against us. I don't know, Carrie. I might go against you. I'm not. I'm not sure of the particulars. Um, I'm just having a quick look now. I can see your Facebook page. I can see the paranormal group. I don't know. Speak to Charlie is the answer. Um, I love that Morris Celtic Junior. <laughs> Mr. Goodwin sees this. The two of you. Um, it will be it will be pool balls it pool balls and socks um, in the prison wing between two of you I can tell. But no, very excited to have another prison officer or a prison officer joining us at Shepton. Um, Morris brings years and years worth of prison experience to 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 the team, and that's going to be fantastic for them. And I spoke to him today about getting the lights out tours kicked off. So we're going to be looking at getting the lights out tours as well at Shepton, um, which will be a brilliant addition to what we already do. So lots of good stuff um i think i probably need to um flag up the trouble i got into this week serious trouble did i get into kind of skipped away from it friday after last week's live so if you if you remember last week's join joel um friday i was okay i managed to sort of avoid the trouble saturday sunday um again it was all right um monday got nailed absolutely nailed tuesday i got nailed again um, I was in serious, serious trouble. Um, and I was in serious trouble because I announced that we bought Shrewsbury Prison um, <laughs> prematurely in the sense of I was supposed to wait for the um, marketing guys and the PR guys to put together an announcement and I just flung it out there. But I didn't just fling it out there. It's not like I did a great big announcement, kind of drum rolling like I did with Morris starting. I literally just kind of slipped it into the conversation for those of you who were here last week and then moved on. Um, uh, and obviously you guys pulled me up on it and I came back to explain it a bit more. Um, so yeah, so they weren't overly pleased, but I guess that's the benefit of being the boss as they can shout and kick off me as much as they like, but I'm just allowed to smile and go, oh, well, you know, these things happen. Um, but yeah, so very pleased about that. It's been a, been a good week. I've been down in Shepton. I came down here on Tuesday. Um, uh, and I've been down here for the last few days and I go home tomorrow. Um, da, 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 just reading the James Randall comments. Um, De, Des, Des, yeah, who watched Des this week? That was great. I watched it on Monday. So I've seen the first part and I didn't watch the second or third part because I said that I would watch them when I get back home. Um, uh, so yeah, so I, I saw part one, which I thought was brilliant. And I think it filmed in January. I'm trying to remember. Jan I'm sure it was January. Um, and I actually was at Shepton when they were filming. <laughs> and yeah, Rachel was fine. Um, uh, so yeah, so they, they filmed it in January, I believe it was. I went to Shepton, saw the filming being done there, um, uh, saw David Tennant. I didn't get an opportunity to, to really meet him, to be honest. Um, they were pretty busy the day I was there. It was pretty hectic. I know they were up against it in terms of the timetables. It was freezing cold. Um, so yeah, so I just... Um, Oh <laughs> my god! Um, uh, so I just I just let them get on with it. But I know Charlie did. And we got some great photos, which obviously we've been sharing on social media. Sorry, James has just said so. Talking about obviously last uh, last week's live announced about the prison. Rachel said that she obviously announced it on the cellmates group, which I said that she could. Uh, whereas James <laughs> James announced it on Twitter to ten thousand people. Um, so yeah, it was a, a good announcement to be had, but. Um, it is great news for Shrewsbury Paul, you're absolutely right. But this week, I think I've had the bit between my teeth and I've been at Shepton and I've, I've spent, I, and I don't think anyone's really been, been at Shepton this week so you wouldn't have seen me apart from, apart from Morris. But I spent a good couple of hours yesterday just wandering around the site, looking at different areas, thinking about what we could do with it, what I'd like to do with it, and how I'm going to maneuver purchasing, how I'm gonna maneuver the businesses to put us in a position to purchase um, uh, Shepton. So that was that was a, a big thing basically. Oh, I was just having an email that is being asked to have a quick look at my attention. Oh, that's not. Mm, I'm not convinced that's acceptable. Sorry, something's just come in. Um, 
Let's see how that was it. Sorry, I was slightly sideswiped. Um, so yes, right. Um, I'm going to probably only stay live, like I say, for sort of a shorter period of time. Short, short period of time. We <laughs> got all summer set. Um, this is what happens when I return home. Um, so I'm not going to stay live very long tonight. So if there's anything anyone wants to ask or go through, now's a good time to flag it up. Um, I've just had dinner with Mr. Mr. G, Mr. G Senior. Um, so yeah, we went out locally and just had something to eat quickly. Um, he's been down in Shrewsbury and Shepton today, like I say, to, to do some stuff with the tour guides down here, share some of his knowledge, spend some time um, doing those good things. Shepton's got an amazing gift shop, might I add. So um, the team there have done a brilliant job of sort of getting that set up and they've got some new museum cabinets and loads of stuff to go in the museum cabinets. So they're just starting to prep that up at Shepton, I think over the next two to three weeks. That will all be in place um, and that's going to look really good. So yeah, if you're going to Shepton at some point, October half term is going to be a great visiting time for Shepton. Um, just wait, sorry, just picking up the comments there. Oh, Saturday. Will I go off alone on Saturday? Do you know what, Laura? I don't think I will. I think what I'm going to do, Laura, is I'm going to be holding your hand pretty much all night because I think Lauren and Stacy are going to be disappearing off um, they tend to disappear off about one o'clock um, after the, everything's kind of sort of eased out. After the tours are finished, the restaurant's closed. Um, those two will then start to uh, white, white, clear up, and then they, I think, they head off about one o'clock. Um, I'll be there all night, awake all night, alive all night, wandering around all night. Um, I imagine I will probably go live somewhere around two, two thirty in the morning. We tend to find the night behind bars is. People are wandering around. It's quite a bit of noise till about two in the morning, um, and then people start to kind of peak off basically, and they start to disperse. Um, and we normally find about two, two fifteen, it starts to get quite quiet. Last week I was in the C wing, um, a quarter past two, and you could hear a pin drop. It was so quiet. There was nobody in the execution room, nobody in the morgue, nobody in that entire area of the jail. So um, some really good stuff to happen there. Um, yeah, so I think I'll probably aim for about two, half two. Um, I'm going to just do it off my phone. I've got my gimbal, I've got my mic, so I think I'll do that. Um, but yeah, I, I don't know if I wander off on my own or not. We'll, we'll see. Um, James is asking what my plans are for the live broadcast. I have none, James. I have no plans whatsoever. Um, I'll do it off my phone, like I say. So I'll predominantly try and stay in areas that I know I can get signal. There might be some intermittent bits where I'm wandering around and it cuts out, but I thought I would I would probably try and do this one just wandering around a bit more. I might go up to the old execution room. I don't know, I, I, I think I'm gonna, I, what I'll probably do is I'll feel how it feels on the night, because you can kind of wander around and you know what it's like, you can get a feel for the building and what's kind of working, what's more active, what's not. Um, and ultimately it'll come down to how brave I'm feeling as well on the night. Um, so we'll, uh, we'll see, but you guys will be there. So all else fails, James, I'll hold your hand and I'll hold Laura's hand and I'll be fine. Um, I'll have to get someone else to hold the camera. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll be all right, we'll get through it. Da, 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 da. Oh, sorry, I'm just seeing the different comments. Um, Carrie, I have just, obviously I picked up your, your comment there, I've just seen the email. I don't know, it's a little bit late, I'll be honest with you. That's that's quite late notice. Um, but I'll, I'll leave Charlie to pick that one up with you. Um, oh, a video of me we're having a Healy's race. Yes, I will I will destroy Lauren Watkins on a Healy race. I'll push her over. Um, so yeah, we, we should do that. Actually, I don't think Lauren and I have ever had a Healy's race. Um, George and Sells. James, do you know what? I... I can probably go down to the Georgian cells, but I'm not allowed to take anyone with me. I am under strict instructions from Lauren that I'm not allowed to take anybody down to the Georgian tunnels. Um, so I, I can go down, but I can't take anyone with me, which means I have to basically, when I go down, I will have to go down through like the boiler houses or something like that, where people can't, where I can lock myself in. And I just don't know about that, to be honest. Going into haunted areas of the prison is one thing. Going into haunted areas of the prison by yourself is another thing. Going into haunted areas of the prison by yourself and locking yourself in them, that just doesn't seem smart, dudes. Do you know what I mean? That just doesn't seem... 
yeah I, I'm not sure about that at all like having to lock myself in the Georgian tunnels to do a live the things we do for enjoy, the things we do for views do you know what I mean I'm just, I just don't see it um, oh, Louise is insane that she I saw your photos Louise that you were in in the prison and you saw Stacey um, I'm good glad you had a um, I'm glad you had a good tour Nick was good uh, Laurie's just come in to say I'm the boss I can do what I want I, I can't do you know what that's that's not true and I really believe that if you've got a boss that says I can do what I want I'm the boss that's not really a good it's not a good place to be yes ultimately I can do what I want but um, ooh Come back to one in a second. So, so what interesting one there? I'll have a look at that. Um, uh, so, yeah, I, I can't really do what I want because that's just not the way it is. Lauren runs the site, and for me to just say, "No, Lauren, I'm going to do what I want to do," um, it, it just, it, it, yeah, it, it's not the way it's, it's not the way it works. It's not the way we work. So, yeah, if she if she says I'm not allowed to take people into tunnels, then I'm not allowed to take people into tunnels, and she's got very specific reasons for it. Um, as well and from health and safety and stuff like that so let me have a quick look at this comment um, da, 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 sh 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 it's right. so Carrie has written Shrewsbury Prison dropped us right in the shit for Halloween month okay not quite sure how bookings in September 2019 where many guests had to be cancelled and lost hotel money etc now local government has hit us Okay, so this is not something I would normally do on these things, but Carrie, because you can all see the comments. So Carrie, who runs, looks like Pitch Black Investigations, and said Shrewsbury dropped us right in the shit for Halloween month. Carrie, you're going to have to explain that to me, because I've got no idea how Shrewsbury dropped you in the shit for Halloween month. Um, and then bookings in September 2019, where many guests had to cancel and lost hotel money etc now local government lockdown has hit us and getting emails off Shep to Mallet is a bit shitty Carrie I'm not quite sure what you're talking about there um, I can see it from our perspective and I'm not sure you want me to be talking about this publicly I mean I'm quite happy to talk about it publicly but I don't think it's gonna go very well for you if we talk about it publicly so maybe you want to message me privately might be a better idea let's 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 leave it there um, uh, so, <laughs> Morris, my excuse to be no sleep. That's what I'm going to go with. Yeah, um, Lauren will be leaving. So yeah, Lauren, Lauren will be going um, uh, off probably about one o'clock in the morning before the live. She's working at the weekend as well, so she she will need the time to actually get some sleep. Um, and I love this, Laura. We're like I love seeing these comments from people about the paranormal. What's the worst that could happen um, if you went alone? Well no ghost is going to eat your face off you don't know that laura a ghost might eat my face off and i tell you what if i go down to the tunnels and you guys are watching me do a live and you're up in the wing watching me do a live and you hear blood curdling screams and you see a ghost take my face off on the live and you can't get to help me because i've locked myself in the in there you're gonna feel really guilty i'm just gonna i'm just gonna point that out um so you know it, it could happen um, no, ultimately the worst that's going to happen is I'm going to absolutely crap myself um, being in the tunnels by myself on a Saturday knowing there's people above me but not that they can come and help me. Um, we'll have a look. I'm gonna, I'll, I'll definitely do something. I can't guarantee exactly where or what time but I'll definitely do something. I think I'll probably head up to above the sports hall because I tend to find that's quite an active area. Um, I may well do something down in the bottom of the morgue. I know I can get some good signal down there as well. Um, and I can walk between the two outside the building, which again is, is, is going to give me decent signal. Um, I don't think I'll do anything in the restaurant, if I'm honest. I really don't like being by myself, particularly in the restaurant, um, with the area at the back of the site. It just, to me, I, I just, I'm not keen on that air in the back of the, in the back of the restaurant where the butchery used to be. So, uh, but we'll see. We'll, we'll see what happens um, uh, with the uh, on Saturday. Like I said, I'll, I'll try and do some videos as well in the build up to it, talking about which areas feel like more active and stuff like that. Laura and James will both be there. If you guys are on Twitter, 
Um, I would suggest following Laura and James on Twitter because they'll no doubt be, be tweeting throughout the evening um, and, and they're really active on there so you'll be able to sort of keep up with what's going on through that as well. Um, let's have a quick look. Sorry, his comments coming in thick and fast. I'm just trying to read them. Uh, da, 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 da. I, do you know what, Laura? I probably will spend a fair bit of time, I think, with you and James wandering around because um, I think it's, you know, it's the build-up of the energy. So maybe what we do is one of you is Stacy and one of you is Lauren for the night and I'll let you compete with each other as to who's going to be the Lauren and who's going to be the Stacy. I've still got the masks that I had with the kids so I can dig out the masks and you can, you can choose who's going to be who. Um, da, 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 da. <laughs> Dennis, they might give me a large glass of Southern Comfort. Give me a large glass of Southern Comfort. They can go straight down the tunnels. I'll give them the keys and they're off. They'll be fine. Um, uh, Nikki has just joined us. What have you missed? I've come part way through. Are you doing a live at some point? Yes, we're talking about me doing a live on Saturday, Nikki, um, during the overnight stay, so a night behind bars probably about 2, 2.30 in the morning, something like that. Um, and that's kind of as far as we've got. And now people are just demanding that I go to certain areas. Um, but no, so we'll, we'll, we'll do something, definitely. Um, Joel, could you get an example? I'll tell you what, James. You try and persuade Lauren to see if you can go down in the tunnels on Saturday night and see how that goes. If you can persuade Lauren... <laughs> I'll be your tour guide, but you've got it. You've got it. You've got to get the okay from Lauren, and I just don't see that happening. So, but yeah, that's Saturday. God, I didn't realise I was going to come on tonight and just talk about Saturday. I'm supposed to be talking about Chapter Malay. That's where I've been all week. Um. So let's just have a quick look. That's cool, Carrie. Yeah, send me a, send me a message. Um, do you know what, Nikki? I'd, I'd second that. Keeping awake. Um, I don't know if I can stay awake. Like you know, it's, it's hard staying awake. I'm getting old. Staying awake till uh, early, early hours of the morning, sort of two thirty in the morning, three o'clock to do lives. It's how going. Um, right, guys, it is getting on. I'm going to do another four or five minutes just to get me sort of to a half hour mark, um, and I'm going to head off, get some sleep. I'm going to be out first thing in the morning for a run. Um, and then I've got breakfast for Mr. G, Mr. G Senior. Um, and then I've got to go and uh, just it's, see my parents and pick some bits up quickly. Um, and then I'm heading back up to Shrewsbury. So that is the uh, order of the day tomorrow. Um, got some contracts to sign tomorrow. So I have to be stopping somewhere on the way, I guess, and get my Mac out to sign some contracts. Um, but yeah, sort of three and a half hour drive, really, from Shep for Summer Settlement Wells. Um, back up to Shrewsbury and then I was planning I was I was debating about heading to Warwick Castle on Monday has anyone been to Warwick Castle recently before or post lockdown I mean sort of the last year or so um, but yeah I was thinking about maybe heading taking the kids and going to Warwick Castle Monday um, and that's the beautiful thing about the way that, that, that we we sort of organized our lives is for the kids it's a brilliant day out for them so they can you know have a lot of fun and stuff like that which which i'll enjoy as well but for me it's all research i can just go and like see how they do it at warwick castle at the moment see how they've done covid see how what attractions are open and you know how a six billion dollar business runs um because that is you know that's aspirational whichever way you spin it love merlin loathe merlin like alton towers you know dislike thought park like legoland you know um, just like work us, whatever it may be, you can't deny that these guys are amazing at what they do. They are fantastic. So um, they are absolutely the, the top tier of tourism um, in terms of the, the areas in which we work. So um, let's have a quick look. Work us is amazing. A lovely day out. Um, thank you, Laura. I think, yeah, I think I, I may well check it out on Monday if I can. Kylie Robson Lee, it's Shrewsbury. It's Shrewsbury, Kylie Robson Lee. I would have thought that you would have said Shrewsbury. Um, you know, not Shrewsbury, Shrewsbury. 
Um, yeah, I, 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 I don't know. Shrewsbury, Shrewsbury, you know. Either way, I live in Acton Burnall, so it doesn't, doesn't make a huge difference. Um, but no, it's Shrewsbury Prison. Um, or Shrewsbury Prison. Uh, let's have a quick flick through. Yeah, Warwick looks good. Right, cool. People are starting to dip off, which is probably a good time for me. Like I say, it's a bit different this week because I'm in a hotel. I'll check my diary and see where I am next week. Cause I think next week's a little bit hectic as well. Let's have a look. But I'm, I'm determined to keep doing the Join Joel's. I really do try and keep my Thursday nights free, um, as you will have seen. I know next Thursday's fine. You will have seen a few weeks ago, I was at a friend's house. That is Kylie, who is on here commenting right now. We're over there. Sat out in the garden. Um, side, and I did the live from their garden. Um, uh, so yeah, so I'm, I'm, I'm desperately trying to do them every week. So I really enjoy them. Um, oh crap! 